Hey guys, my name is Bob Lune and welcome to another video. Today we are taking a look at the newest installation of CVs in World of Warships Blitz. This is the tier 10 Soviet aircraft carrier, the Admiral Nakamov. And these are the two different camos. The first one you saw was the historical camo and this is the special one that comes in the early access event, I, will, I would guess so. This thing is pretty interesting and I am dreading it already, I must say. As you can see, it has small lens turrets as its secondaries, which is one of the fit things I found very, very hilarious and useful. So I have two games to sh show you today. Um, now, guys, please keep in mind, I am not a CV player. So this this is probably going to be funny for some of you and please Boy, have, ha enjoy all you want. Um, but yeah, here we go. This is the Admiral Nakamov, and as you can see, you get three torpedo bomber squadrons. This is like a Kaga at tier 10, except there's five torpedoes per squadron. 15 torpedoes in total you can hit on somebody. It's like a Sanzang with an extra with an extra squadron, I guess. Along with that, you get dive bombers, two squadrons, and there are also five planes per squad in that one. One bomb per plane. These bombs have a 20% fire chance, so you can you can actually get pretty lucky with this, and we will hit this Venezia with a fire and five bombs. They do quite good damage if they do hit, and here we see the torpedo bombers in action now. I will miss this Venezia terribly, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to know what they're doing. If they're going straight or turning, this guy did a good job of turning. These planes are pretty slow, in from my experience at least. Uh, I've played all the CVs, and... I feel like these planes are the, one of the, some of the slowest at least. The fighter here, you only get one squadron and they are, you know, there's some, I think they're middle of the pack. I felt like they were decently strong to fight single squadrons, but once you go up in a 1v2 versus Manfreds and Hakuryu's, you're going to be, you know, f f feeling it. And Amalta is going to win, but I, f I find against the midway, you actually do do quite well so fighter baiting is probably the name of the game with these fighters here but they they will shoot down planes they're quite efficient and have a 70 percent fighter efficiency the aa on nakamov is actually quite good as well it uh, definitely shoots down a lot of planes and some of the games i had i got 37 planes shot down so that's pretty good also of course that's with fighters but dds man and i feel so bad for the, this harugumu man this is going to be a rough deal for a destroyer man 15 torpedoes that can come down from the sky you have no chance and they are slow they are pretty you know slow and 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 stuff but there's a whole gimmick with this line the gimmick is and wait for it guys it gets even worse especially if you're if you're getting focused like some people do um yeah here it goes if a plane squadron gets eliminated the next wave of planes receive 50 minus 50 percent of preparation punishment so that means if you're a Worcester and you, you manage to shoot down every single squadron very fast, this guy, the enemy CV, gets even faster preparation time and can send more planes to you. That is crazy. And that's the gimmick with the Soviet CVs. Now, if I speak from a CV player's perspective, I think this is going to be a very, very fun ship. Um, I will say this, honestly speaking, I did enjoy myself playing this. It is very, very powerful with these torpedoes. And when you clump up your whole, your whole strike, there is almost nothing they can do. The only thing that is was a problem for me is managing all these squadrons. It's it's very very difficult, especially on blue stacks, because there is a delay on how how fast you can press these torpedo bombers um, or the squadrons in general. If you press too fast, you will crash the game, and you're you're gonna have to restart it. And you don't want that in a CV match. You want to be there the whole time so you can help your team. But this is where we get a perfect strike on this Venezia. And this is what I mean. It's not going to be fun for a cruiser, man. Yeah, th this... Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's up here. Yeah, this is going to be devastating. That being said, these planes are very slow, like I said. And I think it's pretty easy to predict what a Nakamov is going to want to do. You're just going to want to slow down, turn out, or in, and hope for the best, because it's likely that you can dodge most of them. Now here, we're gonna, here we see the amazing Smolensk shells, and uh, they, they are really good. You're going to see in the next game here the, how good these guns are. If you're, if you're a DD man, you don't want to push up against this guy. 
especially not if you're one who cannot rely on guns and has to get close with your torpedoes. Shimmers and stuff, they they will, you know, it will be the same for them. They're not going to want to get close. They're going to stay away. But if you're something like a Kaba or a Atelier Regolo, which has long range torpedoes, but the guy you're going to see in this clip, he's going to he's going to regret going close. And I don't think he knew how armored this thing actually is or armed this thing is. It's um, the armor on Nakamov, I feel, is pretty strong. Now, I did not get shot at too much. There was this Republic in this game. He, he got a good chunk in us, but as you can see, we actually were quite healthy. We have taken one heal, and we're almost full HP. So, yeah, goodbye, Venezia. That's another strike in on him. You can see how deadly these are. It's it's, it's... When I was playing this, I was, I'm was i getting more and more scared for myself because a good CV player is going to make this thing a monster in the game. Now, I can't say for sure if this is balanced or not. I'm going to have to get a CV mains, you know, p opinion on this because I'm not too sure if this is OP. I found it to be, you know, annoying, but at the same time, I didn't feel like every, every time I hit, hit, hit somebody, it wasn't a fire, it wasn't a flood. Um, and a lot of people were actually really good at dodging, but that might just be skill issue on my part. It could be, <laughs> definitely. But here we go. This is the end of this clip right here and the end of the game. We did 81,000 damage, which is not bad at all. Um, let's see if the bombs do some here. Yeah, they get one hit in a fire. You can see these bombs are pretty devastating and they actually do hit quite often. Now, this game we got lucky, but 22 bomb hits, that's that's very good um, in my opinion. So I'm very interested to to see, you know, when once the, the good players get their hands on this, how it's going to be, because I wasn't here for the Malta, but I'm going to be here for the Na Nakamov release, so I'm very interested to see that. There we go, 83,000 damage, two kills in uh, in the Nakamov here. That was with the special camo, and now we're going to use the historical camo here, and this is what I mean with, if you want to focus somebody in this ship, it's probably the best one to do it, because just look at the damage we're going to do to this A gear. And he, he is unfortunate that he has this island next to him. That means he can't really turn out and he's kind of forced to stay here. I'm just going to let these guys do the talking. Yeah, you see, that's that's a devastating salvo. 25,000 damage in the first minute. That's insane. That is insane. Now, he didn't have any AA cover or air support from his teammates. So the planes got in all the way. And you can see I'm pointing out these Smolensk guns here because they are great. And I see the reason we're sailing this way now is because I see a DD on the far right flank. And uh, it's always a good idea to anticipate what they're going to do. And I think because I'm in a press account and this is the new CV, I'm thinking this guy wants to get a juicy kill. So we're going to try to prevent that. But we're not going to sail full speed. And I see so many CVs do this. They sail full speed into the cap or wherever they're trying to go to be more efficient. But then they forget, so I, I just go half speed most of the time. And when I know I have to go faster, I'm just going to increase, right? So we're currently just going pretty slow, 17-something knot, knots. Um, and uh, soon this Regolo is going to catch up to us. Meanwhile, we're just going to focus our planes on whatever ha is the least, you know, clumped up with other ships. No AA, because although I want my preparation buff, it's nice. This thing, I feel like I didn't lose planes easily but when I played the Chikalov I remembered losing planes very fast and there's some good AA at tier 10 and tier 9 so I felt like I'd rather just have my planes and then if I, they did go down that was a nice bonus that I could get them back really fast so this first salvo I really whiffed on this Minnesota he did a good job of stopping and he's also getting completely you know an swarmed by my team there's a bot and a shimikaze now so we did our job again 20k damage almost uh, 15k in that salvo and now we get the regolo and this is what i mean when you have what accounts to a smolensk on each side of your ship you can only fire he but that doesn't that doesn't matter when you have a four and a half percent fire chance and a six and a half second reload these guns are amazing, and I have only gunboated a couple of real player DDs, but I remember gunboating like four thought DDs in this thing, and it annihilated them. It's just like playing a Smolensk that's huge, and actually has HP. So the bombs get a fire, and this is just devastating. This is just nasty, because this Rugolo really does not stand a chance. Once my torpedo bombers are ready, 
because he's I'm kiting away, he's sailing in a straight line to actually get to me. My torpedo runs are going to be so predictable and easy on him. He, he, he doesn't have fun right now. Now, you don't have auto secondaries like a Munfred, but this thing, no doubt, has the most firepower out of all of the CVs when it comes to main guns. It's crazy, man. These main guns are fun, and I believe that, that we're gonna see some Nakamovs brawling. Maybe somebody puts Gorshkov on this, or Kuznetsov. Man, I, I can see myself doing that. Putting Kuznetsov on, and uh, just, you know, getting that 5% damage decrease flat out. That's pretty decent, man. And then in the late game, going for some brawling with DDs? Yeah, why not? You can see it's pretty decent. We just took out that Regola with, you know, not really a sweat. We we did lose some HP, but that's because I turned into those torpedoes. Dumb me. But yeah, here we see a skip forward. We hit the Alsace and the midway goes down. But that's pretty much the games and what I wanted to showcase. So now we're going to move on to my build and how I set this up. Now, somebody, if you find it better, you know, to get another build, please tell me in the comments. I'm not a CV main. I have no idea what I'm doing in this. But here we go. We have the camo here. This is the special one. You can see it gives torpedo bomber preparation, torpedo bomber speed, and aircraft torpedo damage. So this is probably the best one. Now, looks-wise, I prefer this one. I think it looks amazing. And it also gives surface detection, bomb damage, and aircraft torpedo damage. I find that to be good as well, actually. So I I'm, think I'm just going to roll with the historical camo once these come out. Because I am going to get this. Uh, I like getting all the CVs and just having them because they look cool, man. So here's the stats. Here we see the guns. They are crazy, like I said. Six and a half second reload, eight kilometers range, and they do good damage. And they, they, they are really good. It's the Smolensk on each side. And yeah, like I said, four and a half percent fire chance, which is also a Smolensk. Here are the dive bombers, 33 capacity, and you get two under one co under, under your command. Five bombers per squadron, and that is five bombs in total. So 10 bombs you can drop on targets with both your squadrons. They have a 4.18 second preparation time, and they have a 20% fire chance. Very, very decent bombers I found, uh, especially... I think the tier 10 is going to be the creme de la creme. So you have 44 torpedo bombers and three squadrons, which is nutty. It's crazy. And you get torpedo bombers on the squ per squadron. You get five again. So that's 15 torpedoes, guys. Remember that? 15 with a five-second preparation time. And a 15% flooding chance. This is very, very high numbers, man. This is good. Oh, you go, your CV is going to have fun. And then, of course, we have the AA. I forgot to mention this. Um, pretty good AA. I really liked it. Oh, yeah, the fighters. The fighters. 16 fighters you have, and you get one squadron. They are mediocre, I find. Um, very mediocre. So, yeah. That's the stats of the Nakamov. And, of course, you have this gimmick I talked about with the... If you lose your squadron, you get them back... 50% faster. I went with carrier mod 3 and that's to get capacity and everything. Then I went with AA and detection. We have a special new elite commander for the uh, Soviet CVs and his name is Yevgeny Preobazhensky. And yeah, we took aerobatic maneuver, torpedo alert. Then we took high alert, victorious charge, survivalist, exploit weakness plus, which is very nice. Then we took fully prepared, and uh, yeah, we got Extinguisher here to take out, you know, be care take care of those CV snipers. Demolition Expert, Honor Seeker. Then we have Dauntless Dive Plus, which is probably what makes these bombs efficient, to be honest. And Giant Hunter. So here we are, guys, at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And um, quick announcement, I am not going to be streaming on Wednesday tomorrow because I'm going to upload two videos today. A Paolo montage, a new montage series. It's called Thought .exe. Go watch it. It's, it's hilarious. But yeah, I am going to a funeral for my granddad, so I won't be streaming this week anymore. But next week, I'm going to be streaming these and showing them off, of course. My name has been Bubloon, signing out.